welcome back to my channel today we're doing something really fun something i've been thinking about for a while and i've been wanting to try out with my look so we are going to be cutting my hair pretty short here in the front this is something i talked about in my video about my 2024 goals and i shared my vision board and i've been wanting to try out something different with my look and i think curtain bangs are so beautiful i hope that they suit me i'll pop in a few of my inspiration pictures here so you guys can see the kind of style that i'm going for and mo will be cutting my hair so i'm gonna go get him super excited <laughs> going to be cutting my bangs today okay, we've just sectioned off this front piece here so there are also lots of videos online tutorials on how to cut it yourself that we actually watched just to get inspiration so if you don't have a mo you could attempt to do it at home the videos look pretty good like the results were pretty good so i'll have some of them linked we're going to straighten the hair first If you look I'm down, so nervous. all good. <laughs> just, just look down. You can see I have separated like a little round shape. What you do is basically you go until the highest corner of the eyebrow, and then you go up, and you take that point hmm. on both sides. Okay. So that's what I've done on both sides. That's how you separate it. Now this is done. I've separated in a half and now I'm going to cut the curtain bangs. Yeah. Cut is done. I'm gonna go and wash and blow dry this now. But I already like it. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay guys, this is the result. I am so happy. I think they are so cute. I just quickly re-wet and styled this front portion since he needed to straighten it. And the rest of my hair was done with the Dyson. This was a few days ago, so it's definitely loosened up a bit, but just like a quick styling of it, I'm already so happy with it. And when I put my hair up like this, you can see the bangs. So fun, right? You know, just a little something different. I even kind of like that. Just like this little piece showing the front. I have to definitely get used to it and used to styling it, but I'm really happy with the length because it's not, you know, so short that I think it would be, you know, always in my face. Yeah, very happy with how it looks. Something a little different and fun for this mama. So one of my goals right now is to incorporate one Pilates session a week, really focused on building core strength, specifically postpartum. I find just deciding on the workout video that I wanna do the night before really helps to keep me consistent and motivated and just excited to do the workout. I also notice with Pilates, especially core focused workouts, it affects a lot more than what your core looks like just physically. It's about just having that good posture, that good strength. Nelia loves to be carried and I hold her for a significant portion of the day. And just building that core strength, I feel like it just really helps 
with all of those small muscles that help to keep you upright. So there are so many benefits of doing this also for strengthening your pelvic floor postpartum. And I've been finishing with a super short meditation. It's like literally three minutes. And I figure as I'm there, I'm alone. I'm just going to dedicate this little time for myself, just focusing on setting a positive intention for the day, just feeling relaxed and grounded in my body has been so nice. Good morning guys. You guys probably know I am a huge matcha fan and I've pretty much been making it the same way the last few years. I used to use a bamboo whisk, would pour the matcha straight in my little matcha bowl and I would make it that way. But I've been doing something lately that has been so game changing and it's using this little sifter. This is so good if you notice you have lumps in your matcha or little like clumps. And I actually find that I can even just just use my electric whisk when I use the sifter it doesn't actually make a big difference if I use a whisk or not and the electric one is just a little bit faster and it really makes the matcha taste so good and so smooth and absolutely no lumps okay I've got my cup pop on the sifter take about a teaspoon of matcha the quality of your matcha is really important as well. I like a ceremonial grade. My favorite one is from Peak. This tastes so good. It's so rich. It's also triple screened, so it's really pure. Then I just move the matcha around like this. You can tap it as well. That's it. And I'm telling you, this simple step makes the hugest difference. Then I pour in some hot water. And then as I mentioned, I'm using an electric whisk right now. I used to have the bamboo one. Nalia got a hold of it. And let's just say it's in no condition to be whisking matcha anymore. So I've been using this one and it works really great as well. And a little bit more hot water and some oat milk. Mm, so good. I really do consider matcha to be like a superfood because it's so rich in antioxidants, which make it incredible for your skin, your hair, your overall wellness, your immune system. And I love that it's something that I just incorporate into my daily routine and I don't even think about it being like a health food it's just something that i love the taste of it gives me a little energy boost it makes me feel good and it's actually really good for me i love stuff like that something else i've been very excited about is colostrum i was sent this by armra i'm not working with them on this video so i don't have a code but i genuinely am so obsessed with this Product, especially right now for the winter season it's incredible for strengthening your immune system and there was even a clinical trial done where colostrum was found to be three times more effective at preventing cold and flus than the cold and flu vaccine itself so this is really powerful stuff i also listened to an interview with the founder on a recent podcast i'll have it linked yeah the science behind this is so amazing so this is what it looks like it's a powder i just take one scooper full and i pop it straight in my mouth and then make like a little paste and just chew it it's really great for sealing the lining of your gut which then helps to strengthen your immune system because you're not letting all the things pass through your gut lining that are not supposed to so the other day i was out with analia it was super cold i was pushing the stroller and i was just thinking i cannot wait for it to be spring and summer and for it to be warm and we can go to playgrounds and not freeze and just you know all the things that are amazing about summer later that day i was home and i was noticing how my hair was still nicely styled like there was a little curl to it still and i was thinking oh my god i love winter i love winter for this reason like in the summertime when it's hot and humid if i would spend time on my hair it might only last a couple of days when it's really hot and humid because it just like the curls just fall and i found myself just being so appreciative of winter at that moment and it made me like genuinely happy and then that had me thinking about the other things that i really appreciate about winter and i thought i would share them with you guys in case you're also in a very seasonal climate you're maybe also more of a spring summer fall person maybe you're not obsessed with winter i think how we talk to ourselves the story that we're telling ourselves is so important and it can make the biggest difference in how we feel how we operate how productive and happy we are throughout the day and they're just little things but 
like the hair thing you know when you spend like time especially as a mom when you spend time on your hair like it's nice when it lasts that's something i'm super grateful for when it comes to winter is the no humidity the second thing i genuinely love about winter that is just not possible during summer are the early evenings how it gets darker and cozier that's something that is so like complementary of the way i like to have my evenings i like to go to bed early and it's nice when you have that wind down when it's dark especially like at around 6 37 that is perfect this way it really feels like you're unwinding and it's cozy you know just have like a little soft light on and the whole mood and the atmosphere is just so nice and relaxing it like induces that calm feeling and the third thing that i genuinely love and makes me so happy about winter are cozy clothes like sweaters especially these socks i've been wearing these like scrunchy socks that are so cozy and so cute i love to wear them with both leggings and also with joggers i think they are so cute and they genuinely keep me so nice and warm as well and also the fact i think that winter is this like real sort of reflecting and going within time it almost feels like nature is in hibernation especially when there's snow it looks like a blanket like nature is sleeping that's what it looks like i think it's a beautiful time to go more within do some reflecting or even just being at home and like fixing up your place and organizing and just like making yourself feel really great so those are a few of my favorite things about winter i would love to know what some of your guys's favorites are especially if you're more of like a summery spring fall person I'm sure we all have like one thing that we can really appreciate about winter that is unique. So let me know what yours is down below in the comments. I would love to know. Okay guys, it is dinner time and I wanted to share how I put together a well-balanced meal. What is my thought process that goes into it so that the meals are healthy and well-balanced and I feel energized and fueled. And this works really well for me and it's very simple. So I start with a good source of protein. I love salmon. I have my way of making salmon that is in the oven. I've shared it a few times. But today I'm trying something a little different with this sauce that I'm going to make. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. But I try to have a good portion of protein. This is like the size of my hand. But you know, a good size portion. Protein is important for so many things in our body. So I love salmon. Then next I think about the healthy carb. I'm going to be doing jasmine rice tonight. I also love basmati rice. But tonight's dish is going to be a little bit more Asian inspired. So I've gone for jasmine rice but i also love sweet potatoes regular potatoes so i'm going to cook a cup of this in my rice cooker and the third part are greens so vegetables i love broccoli i make this so often broccoli is definitely one of my go-to's i just love how easy it is to prepare i just steam it in this steamer basket green beans is another staple of mine that i love and sometimes i will also do something fresh on the side of that too so that's sort of like the fourth component and sometimes it's just something fresh like a salad or cucumber and then i won't always do like a cooked vegetable today i'm going to do both but greens vegetables super important for good fiber good antioxidants vitamins and i just like that variety in my plate i like to have cooked something fresh something crunchy and cucumber is definitely also one of my go-to's, a great source of silica from the skin. And then I also have some spring onion here that I'm going to put on top. And then of course also a good source of healthy fat, but the salmon already contains a good source of healthy fats, but other things would be like avocados, a little drizzle of olive oil. But those are really like the three main things I think about when building my plate, just to keep it really simple, because I know a lot of like health information can be quite confusing. And for me, whole foods, keeping everything, you know, relatively fresh and unprocessed, for me, that is what works the best when it comes to my health and making living a healthy lifestyle and eating healthy easy and attainable on a daily basis. So to make the sauce for the salmon, I'm combining two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of sesame oil, three teaspoons of honey, you can do more if you like it sweeter, one teaspoon of onion powder, 
and half a teaspoon of ginger powder and the juice of half a lime plus some salt and pepper to taste. You could also add a few teaspoons of sriracha or any hot sauce if you want to give it a little spicy kick but Nalia will also have some of this so I am keeping it without spice and you can always add some later on as well. And then just combining that and you have this really great sauce. I'm also prepping the broccoli just snapping off the florets and putting them into a steamer basket which already has some water underneath and then that's going to steam for about five to six minutes until you can easily stick your fork in. Then I'm also just prepping the green onion for later. This is going to go on top. Nalia is so funny right now. She is speaking so much. It's so cute. So as mentioned, I normally roast my salmon in the oven, but for this recipe, I'm pan frying them. It's so delicious as well. So I'm starting a stopwatch and I'm gonna leave it for about four minutes. Salmon cooks so quick on the stovetop, so four minutes is all you need for one side. So then I'm flipping it over. I'm letting it sit for about like 30 seconds or so, and then I'm pouring the sauce on top and then leaving the salmon to cook for another a total of four minutes or so and it will be cooked to perfection and here's everything plated with the jasmine rice the broccoli and of course the salmon i topped it with the green onion and some sesame seeds and this was so good like restaurant feel food but still super healthy well balanced and just super super satisfying we are going to relax now i totally forgot to mention in my last video when i was talking about like tv shows and stuff a new season of singles inferno came out a few weeks ago and mo and i watched it and it was so good it's a korean dating show and they're on an island i think we love it so much because of how they carry themselves the respect they have for one another it's just beautiful it is nothing like the western dating shows in terms of how like raunchy and just dramatic they can be there's just something about their culture and how they treat one another that is just so nice to see and mo and i just love it the contestants were really great and i just loved it if you guys are looking for something great to watch that's very light-hearted singles inferno is amazing now i'm missing that it's like the end of a show you know and you feel like you miss <laughs> the show but we will see what else we will watch and i will of course let you guys know if there's anything that i find that is like really good do you guys have any favorites that you're watching right now on netflix or on amazon let me know if you guys have been watching my content one of my go-to's is always gilmore girls i love 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 gilmore girls that is my show like that i watch by myself mo doesn't watch that it's like my show another classic is marvelous mrs Maisel. there's another season out of that right now let me know if you have a favorite show right now as well i would love to know below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you guys enjoyed as always make sure to check the description box down below for recipes links i hope that you guys are all having a beautiful day thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys